Hey everyone, my name is Reed. I'm a senior conference ambassador this summer, um, and I will be giving you a tour of Reed Hall today, coincidentally. Uh, but before we go inside, I'll show you kind of where we are on campus. So if you turn around, you can actually see Donald W. Reynolds Stadium, which is where all the football games are held. Spend a lot of time there during the year, it's really fun. Um, you can't see all the buildings, but you're also very close to Pat Walker. This is about as far as you can get to this side of campus. It's still not very far from the center where the union is and also the library. So it's not a very long walk. You're also right beside the Maples, um, which holds uh, Maple Grill and other things, and then very close to Fulbright as well. So with that, we'll just go ahead and head in and kind of look and see what Reed looks like. Yeah. And I'm gonna introduce myself real quick. Hello, my name is McKenna Parsons. I'll be filming today's live. I'm an intern for housing, and if you have any questions, send them in the chat. Um, we'll be going into a room and measuring things for you, so that's great. And if you want, let us know where you're tuning in from. Sorry about that. Now nah, we'll head in. <laughs> no worries. You're good. Um, we'll just go straight to the store. Um, but before we head in officially, I'll show you kind of what the fobs look like and how we use them. So when you get your keys and check into Reed Hall, you'll get a fob that kind of looks like this. Um, you'll just scan out one of these black boxes. You'll hear that beep. And then you can open the door to get in. This makes sure the facility is very secure, especially with it being an all girls dorm. Um, that's very important to us. But we're just going to go ahead and start by walking down this hallway. Um, first, we have this water fountain. All the water fountains in the building look like this. So if you have a water bottle, it's really convenient to fill it out. Um, yeah. And then this little area right here has a vending machine, has a couple of vending machines. Um, if you're looking for a Diet Coke or some chips or anything like that, it's definitely very easy to get to. And there's a lot of things in these hallways, um, so we're going to show you everything. Right here is a kitchen area that we have within the dorm building. So if we kind of walk into this, you can see that there's a stove and there's an oven, a sink, some shelf space, or some drawer cabinets. There you go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Um, and then also some spices that we're looking for, which is kind of nice. Um, if you're looking to make something while you're here, you can check out pots and pans at the front desk. We'll show you that here in a second, but we're going to keep coming in here. So let's say that you don't want to stay in your room. You don't really want to go to the library or the union or anywhere else. You can come in here and study, or if you made a meal, you and your friends made a meal in that kitchen, you can definitely come in here and eat it. It's very comfy. It's got some pictures on the wall. Honestly, this blue color is like kind of appealing. You know, it makes me feel safe in here. Um, but yeah, and there's a lot of little spaces like this in Reed. So it's more of a community style dorm and you'll get to meet a lot of people. So seeing this, we'll keep going down this hallway. So this is gonna be like the in dorm gym. I'm assuming it won't be closed by the time y'all get here. Um, <laughs> but in here, there's a lot of treadmills, escalators, a lot of different things. Um, so you don't have to go to the u rec if you don't want to to go work out. These are all in your dorm, so you can put on your workout clothes, just come downstairs and have a good time. Um, yeah, and you should be able to get in there again with your fob um, in any instance. On the other side of this wall is also the UAPD office, so they're not ever very far away. If something does go awry, if you call them, they're right there. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. As we walk this way, we'll look at the other side of the hallway. Um, the first thing that we're going to look at is these mailboxes. So I'm not completely sure. Do you know if Reed, if both people share one? I believe so. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So the two people in the room will share one for your single room. So how to get your code is when you log into your housing portal. Um, it'll give you three numbers. You'll just twist this until you get those three numbers, it should open up. Um, if it's just a piece of mail, like an envelope or anything like that, it should be in here. If it's not, um, you'll have to go to the front desk to grab the package. And this is where our front desk is. So most of the time, we'll have a lovely desk admin working the front desk that will be able to check out packages for you. Um, if not, there may be an RA at desk that can also help you with situations such as if you locked yourself out of your room, you lost your key or anything like that. Um, and then we're gonna go down this other side, side hallway because there's more things to do. Oh, yes. Um, yeah. And elevators are right in between these two hallways. Yes. You'll see those when we go upstairs. There's also this room. It connects to the one we're going in down exactly. here. So. <laughs> You'll also need a scan of this to get in here. 
You walk in here, it's kind of homey in here. Um, but there's a big long table uh, that you can eat at, do anything with. This bar, another kitchen. So again, you can check out those pots and pans at the front desk. If you wanna make a meal, Sunday meal with your friends, go for it. There's also this little outside space where if you wanna go outside and have a little fun time, you definitely can. Yeah. As I don't fall over, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, but again, there's all this kitchen, sink, stove top, um, oven, microwave. Um, and then also, this fridge is free to use. We recommend labeling anything you put in the fridge, especially if it's a public one. Yes. Um, as we walk in here, we have a movie room. So this movie room can be used whenever. Um, all these couches, big TV, and all the little things that you can need to have fun at any point in time. You get one more view of it this direction. Yeah. Awesome. We're gonna now walk down this hallway and show you laundry and some other things. Um, the first thing that I do wanna talk about, because we can run into these issues sometimes during the year, is this co-ed restroom right here. So with this being an all-girls dorm, the boys are people that do not identify as women are not allowed in the restrooms on the floors. So if you do need to use the restroom, this is the co-ed one. So please come down here and use it so we don't run into any issues during the year um, if you're not living here. Um, yeah. Someone asked, is there a plan that will show the location of specific rooms to know which side of the building they're on? I'm, I think that there may be, but I'm not completely confident on that. I would definitely go to york.housing.edu if they can show you, and you'll yes. be able to find it. I believe the floor plan, um, specifically of the floor that you are living on, should be in your housing portal. Um, for security reasons, that's the only place you will find that. Yeah. So here's the laundry room. The first thing you see when you walk in the laundry room is an ice machine. So if you're looking to fill up your water bottle, you can definitely do that here. And then we have several washers and dryers. Um, so there should be plenty for, to go around in the storm. A big thing that we're talking about this year is downloading the Speed Queen app. So you will need the Speed Queen app to wash your clothes at any point in time. Um, during the year, you'll have two washes and dries per week. Um, once you run out of those for the week, it is $1.50 for each, other, uh, each wash after that. Um, so pay attention to what's going on there. Um, but downloading the app means that you have complete accessibility to use this room however you want to and however often you need it. Um, but yeah. And then I also recommend, they have these little tables and stuff. Um, I know a lot of my friends, whenever they were living in halls that had tables down in the washing, like the laundry rooms, they would sit down here and study. So if you want to wait for a laundry to be done, you can sit down here and do whatever you need to do. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna head out and look at one more meeting room that's on the first floor. Um, we're gonna move this way. But as we're doing, doing that, I wanna give you a little information about the hall. So dedicated in 1967, the building was named for Martha McKenzie Reed, who served as the Dean of Women for 17 years. Reed Hall is a primarily freshman women's facility. It's air conditioned and has carpeted hallways. Each bedroom has built-in closets and dressers, loftable beds, and movable desks with attached touches for books, ethernet access, uh, cable and a network smoke detector. Usually we have 459 female students staying in the storm at a single time. And we're here. Perfect. Um, <laughs> you timed that really good. And there's recycling right here also. <laughs> yeah. So in here is like a big meeting room. So a lot of times the RAs and other housing staff will have events. Um, I know a lot of times Speak will have events. So Speak is our housing organization that talks about sexual violence prevention. Um, and I was lucky to be a part of that at some point. It's very important. Um, but they'll have events down here. So please come down here when something's going on. There's usually free food, fun things to do, especially if you're not busy at any point in time. But yeah, it's a really fun space to come down into. And I think when it's free, you're able to use it at some point, probably to study or hold meetings of your own if you need to. Um, yeah, this is the last room that we have on basically the first floor. Now we're gonna go up and show you two rooms. One of them is going to be a regular room, and another is gonna be the end room, um, and also a bathroom. Perfect. So yeah. And if you're just now joining, we are in Reed Hall, and we're headed up to, is it the ninth floor? Yes. The ninth floor to look at some rooms. And we might lose connection, we might not, while we're in the elevator, so just hold tight in case we do. Have you ever lived? No, you haven't. It's a... <laughs> Yeah, I have a legend read. That's my typical question. <laughs> you know, it'd be kind of cool to live in a hall with the same name as you, but I, I know, certainly right? do not belong here. <laughs> um, but yeah. I know people that lived in Reed. They were a fun time. I like hanging out with them. I have plenty of friends that lived here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Very north of campus, Mockingbird yeah. neighborhood. 
think we're here. Yeah. I don't think we lost connections. That's awesome. awesome. That's good. One of my personal favorite things about the hall is this sign. If they ever change it, I do want my name off the wall. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll go into one of these rooms right here. Before we do that, actually, there's a lot of common area spaces right off of the elevator um, right here. So if you're looking to study, you can sit right here and use one of these. I know the TVs work, so if you want to watch something while you do it, you're more than welcome to. There's a lot of common areas. We do emphasize community in Reed Hall a lot of the times, just because a lot of, uh, historically, a lot of these people are going to be in sororities. So it's a really good way to meet people outside of your sorority, but also while you're rushing. It's a little great way to make friends. Um, and we're going into room 917, so we'll just show you some of the things that come with the room. If that's your room, let us know in the chat. Yeah, so like, <laughs> like I said earlier, um, of course they come with a bed, um, these desks that are already in here, and then over here, you're going to have these drawers, this mirror, and a lot of sets of plugs. Um, I'll give some typical room dimensions and things like that as we go through the room. So the typical room dimensions, of course, are 13 feet by 6 inches, 9 feet by 9 inches. Um, these twin beds are 75 by 36 by 25 inches. These closets, which do not have a door to them, so if you want to hang up a curtain, definitely recommend, um, are 48 by 25 by 96 inches. Um, and then the bookshelves, which these, I'm assuming, are the bookshelves. Yes. Um, so they're 40.25, 13.75, and 24 inches. Um, and then this desk is 42 by 22 by 30 inches. Desk chair, of course, is 23 by 21 by 33 inches. And if you're looking to bring your own desk chair, that's, you're more than welcome to do that, but you cannot remove the furniture from out of the room. These chairs are very easy to take apart. I do recommend if you do take it apart, you can either put it under your bed if you loft it, or you can set it up here if you want to, or above your own closet on the shelf. Um, and I know we are kind of rapid firing these measurements, yeah. but these are available housing.uark.edu under your hall. And if you want to watch this back, it will be under Reels on Instagram and our YouTube later this week. Yeah. Someone asked, is there a best place to locate their micro fridge combo? I am not completely sure in this storm. I don't really know where they usually put it. A lot of times people will loft their beds and then put them under their bed. Mm -hmm. So this has a plug right behind it, I'm pretty confident. So it'd be really easy to put your micro fridge under your bed if you loft it, mm -hmm. um, which gives you plenty of space to do things um, like a regular student in a regular size, like a very normal size dorm like this is. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, another thing I want to add on to looking at measurements and dimensions of the room. So a new thing that housing is doing on their housing website this year is that you're able to look at the room and measure things on your own. So let's say you wanted to measure this window seal. You can go into a live room that they've taken a picture of, click from this point, and then click that point, and it'll tell you how long it is in inches so that you can measure things on your own. If you do miss this, or if you kind of don't catch what we're saying, or you have a question later and you're not able to ask. Um, but kind of getting back into those measurements so that we can go through them. We have this double dresser, um, which is 70 by 24 by 40 inches. Um, and then also this light and mirror, which is Yeah. I'm going to take some fire mirror selfies. <laughs> um, but it's 60 by 27 inches. And then they also always have bulletin boards. So these are the bulletin boards that are behind the bed. Um, you're more than welcome to pin things up on them. A lot of people do. But they're 43 by 32 inches, and then your window with the blinds. So as we look at the window, I want you to show them the view. Of, yes, someone yeah. said in the chat, look at the, the stadium view. Yeah. It is really awesome right one here. One of my favorite things about the storm is whenever you come up to the ninth floor, it's like you could watch a football game, but you also can't <laughs> because you can't see the field. Yeah. But if you're not able to make it, you can only see it like, like you have to study on a Saturday and there's a football game. It's really fun to watch the crowd. Um, Football games are so and you fun. You can kind of see Old Main too. Yeah. Over there. No, Fiddle it's so focus. awesome. And you can see all the dorms on Central Campus over there. It's very cool. But with that comes the window with the blinds. So it's nine feet or nine feet six inches by fifty-seven inches. And we also have this window ledge, which is pretty wide. You can definitely set things on it, which is um, nine feet by nine inches or nine feet nine inches by twelve inches by thirty-seven inches. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can definitely decorate that however you want, put anything you want on it. But those are all the typical double room dimensions and furniture. Um, Something a lot of people do as well, I'll mention, is cover their bulletin board in fabric. Exactly. So if you want those dimensions, we did already say them, but 
I highly recommend if you're not a fan of this color, just bringing fabric and you can pin it over it and make it whatever aesthetic you so please. Yeah, so now we're gonna kind of, we're gonna go look um, and as we're going down to this wide room, we'll look at the bathroom. Um, so let's go down here. It's got a little hallway and it's separated. So in this side is the restrooms and the sinks. So there's five sinks, and I think one, two, three, four, five stalls. It's a public restroom. Definitely bring your shower shoes, anything else that you need to be comfortable. Um, but it's also very great to keep up with it and clean it regularly. Um, and I know a lot of people that live in the store don't have very many complaints about it being a public restroom, even though that's probably not the first thing that you want. Um, but again, it increases community. You can talk to someone while you're brushing your teeth. Um, <laughs> that's something you're into. I don't know. It reminds me of Pitch Perfect. Um, a classic experience. Yes. Um, but then walking into here is also the showers. So the good thing about these showers is they try and do as much to make it as extra private as possible. So it's kind of got double curtains. So when you come in here, you can definitely close this curtain when you're showering. And also close this curtain. <laughs> um, if you want to change your clothes right here. Um, so you don't have to worry about it not being as private as possible. Um, we don't typically have issues with these bathrooms as far as I know. Um, yeah. Awesome. And those were the bathrooms and showers in Green Hall. So now we're going to walk down and look at an uh, end room, which is pretty wide. Um, arguably not as great of a view, but it is a bigger room, which is really nice. Yes. Um, Someone asked about Wi Fi. Yeah, so we have, whenever you get your email to the university, there is private Wi-Fi for people that attend campus. So you just have to put in your email, so like whatever email you're assigned by the University of Arkansas, and the password to that email, and you should be logging out, you should be able to log into that Wi-Fi. Yes. Also, a lot of times we have questions about Ethernet cables. Um, I'm trying to see where I can locate that. I it's right know. here. I think it's that. No? Yeah. Maybe not, actually. <laughs> Usually rooms are gonna have an Ethernet setup, so if you want to bring an Ethernet cable. Um, you can definitely use that. I'm not located in this room, so definitely check me on that on the housing website to see if they actually have that in read. Um, yeah, so in this room, it's the same exact thing, except the room is going to be a little wider. Um, I don't have the measurements on this sheet of, pe sheet of paper, but you can definitely hopefully find them on that website or message or email housing and see kind of what's going on. There's also these on the back of the door yeah. for the towels. Of course. So the same thing, except these are split. So now each person gets their own separate dresser and uh, mirror. What's the light? There you go. Awesome. Um, of course, it comes with a desk chair, a desk with drawers, a bed. Same furniture. A yep. bulletin board. And these closets are a little wider as well. Um, the only difference is that these, a little extra space up here, we're going to open and close cabinets. That's awesome. But yeah. And this is the... Slightly non-existent, but large window view. <laughs> yeah. If you if you squint, you can definitely see through the. Through the <laughs> um, but yeah. Do you guys have any questions? If you do, send them in the chat. I, I haven't seen many questions yet. Let me think. What else we could say? Um, oh. The chairs do. Do they come apart in this dorm? Actually, they should. They do. Yes, yeah. the chairs do come apart, so you can just remove the back. Another thing is that each room is going to have its own um, way to control the AC. Yes. And that's going to be yeah. right here on this wall. Good. So it controls the entire room, so you can definitely turn it up and turn it down. So yeah. If you're just now joining, we're in Reed Hall, um, currently in room 923. Do all doors have towel racks? I am not. Let's that. go check. Let's go check that right now. I believe, I thought they did, but let's look. We we'll definitely answer that. Random room 921. I'm already seeing <laughs> the back of it. Yes. And it does have the towel rack. Two of them. Yeah, so two on each door, and that should be true for every room. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Any other questions? Send them in the chat. We've been really efficient. <laughs> so, yes, nine floors total in Reed. Great view of the stadium. And honestly, it has really awesome amenities. Again, it's a very community-focused store. You're gonna have fun here. You're gonna make lifelong friends here. 
like I said, a lot of girls that rush live here. So it's really fun to watch that experience. Honestly, one of my favorite things is to watch the videos of the girls during COVID when they had to stay here and then reacting to their bids because they were in their rooms oh. and then all screaming. Yeah. So it was honestly awesome. It's going to be a great experience. We hope for the best experience if you are staying here. But yeah. Can you talk a little bit about Pick One? Yeah, so Pick One is actually our program on campus. I think it's ran by New Student Family Programs or something like that. Um, but you're able to basically pick a program that you like. So I also am involved in other places on campus, such as university programs. So I'm the daytime chair there. So if you're interested in programming events for campus, you can pick university programs as your pick one. We will get you involved as possible in our general council or on the Upstart, which is our freshman leadership service team. Um, and you can do something like that. Within housing, I know that there's pick one for NRHH, um, lead hogs, and other leadership opportunities for you to choose. Um, but you only, don't only have to pick, in the pick one, you do have to pick one, but after that, you're able to join as many things as you want. Kind of feel it out. I definitely recommend just going to things, going to meetings. You don't necessarily have to join them. Just see what's going on. And especially if you make friends and read Hall, they can go with you. Yeah. Someone asked how many restrooms are on each floor? So I'm pretty confident it's five restrooms specifically, so five stalls. Yes. Um, okay. We can check that one more time. Everything what about seems... restrooms as a whole? Oh, I think it's, is there, there's there's just a wing. Okay, so there's gonna be one in each wing. So there's one right here, and then where we got off the elevators, it kind of separates the floor, so there's one over there as well. And someone else asked, is a dehumidifier needed in Reed? I would recommend it. I think bringing a dehumidifier to a lot of dorms, it's just, I mean, good practice for you, especially if you have allergies. And it is an old dorm, that's nothing to kind of skirt around. So if you just wanna bring one to be safe, definitely recommend it. Yeah. Awesome. No other questions yet. Let's real quick dip back into the room over there. The, yeah, we can go across this. Yeah, cut through the bathroom. Someone asked, what is the measurement of the closet shelves? Yeah, I got you. Six inches and, and then, then depth okay, it's going to be 16 inches this one looks a little shorter but definitely not an inch shorter so it's gonna be about the same and then can we get like yeah. this one to that one and then the top one to the ceiling the this is gonna be nine inches and then this is going to be 21 inches beautiful yeah any other questions so we did already, we are in 917 in the other room we already toured. These are the two rooms we'll be looking at today. Um, I see people asking about specific rooms. Uh, do you wanna talk about how they all look a little similar? Yeah, so a lot <laughs> of these rooms in Reed are going to look the same. We do that on purpose so no one feels like they got just out of an opportunity to stay in a specific room. The only one that's different is the end room and the way you get that room is purely based on if you select that room um, and it just happens to be like that, I know for me, my freshman year, I stayed in the quad and I ended up accidentally getting a room that only had two instead of four people. Sometimes it's just based on pure luck and what actually happens. But all these rooms are going to look the same. They come with the same things. They have the same measurements, unless you're on the end room, which is just a little bit wider. Someone else asked, are all of the beds twin? I believe so. Yes, they're going to be twin XLs. These are? Yes. Okay. They are all the same size in here. I did make all the beds on campus this summer, so I would hope that I would know that. Okay, awesome. <laughs> yeah, and I know in some dorms, one wall, the bed is larger, twin XL, and one's uh, just yeah. twin. They are the same. All of them are the same here. Great questions, you guys. Well, maybe we can wrap it up. I don't see any yeah. other questions. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming on this tour today. It was so fun to talk about Reed Hall with you, and I hope I will probably see you next week at some point in time if you're looking at other tours. Oh, real quick, someone yeah. asked, um, what do we do to loft the bed? <laughs> so Classic question. You can submit a fix-it request before you come to campus, so the way you do that is basically just search online, fix it, UARC, and it will take you to a form in which you can say, oh, hey, I have this specific room, so if you were living in room 917, you would click down, press read, say you're in a specific room, click in 917, and then say that you want to lock the bed. Um, there should be a specific code, so it should say A or B on your room number. If it yeah. doesn't, um, you can email housing and see which specific bed you'll probably get. They'll definitely have it lined out. Um, but you'll say, 
I'm 917A, so it'll loft one of the beds, and then you can do it before you get here. If you don't do that, we'll definitely have mallets ready for check-in whenever you move in, and you can grab one of those at the front desk and loft the bed yourself. Yes. Um, something else to mention is if you want it lofted before you get here, that has to be submitted by the end of the month. Yes. Um, and as you can see, the rods are only on this end about every three inches. Um, but that's not a problem. You can flip this completely and the bed will go all the way up, um, depending on how high you want it. Um, to clarify, these are all twin beds, not twin XL. Um, someone asked that. And also, I thought I saw one more. Let's see. Yes, they are all twin, not twin XL. A couple people asked that to clarify. And yes, the measurements of the bed will be on your um, on housing under your hall, so that's easy. Um, any other questions? Well, thank you guys for joining. This was York Home Live 2023, yeah. Reed Hall, and we hope you have a great rest of your evening. Yeah, have a great day. Bye.